faithful since the start of the season. A season which promises much. And having already gone past the winning streak of Don Reeve's side, who won seven consecutive games at the start of season 73-74, David O'Leary's side now stands poised to match Leeds United's all-time record of nine straight wins set back in 1931. His team today is strengthened by the return of Lee Bowyer, who's had problems with a groin strain, and Stephen McPhail, troubled by an ankle injury previously, makes his first start of the season. Danny Wilson, the Sheffield Wednesday manager, can at last select his preferred back four with the return from injury of Andy Hinchcliffe. He was out for ten games until returning in the Worthington Cup in midweek. Otherwise, the Wednesday side is exactly that which put five goals past Wimbledon the last time they were seen on match of the day. And having added four goals in the Worthington Cup against the Nottingham Forest on Wednesday, they travel now rather more hopefully. So it's currently top against bottom. But David O'Leary makes the point in the programme of saying that uh, his side have won nothing yet. And this is an interesting test for them, a local derby coming after a rather disappointing performance in midweek against Blackburn, albeit a match won late in the day. Here's Hinchcliffe with the first cross, and that's well defended by Oradovic. Rudy, another good cross run out by Gary Kelly they kept given for that challenge by Graham Barber the referee Capturing in Hertfordshire mm. Harry Kuehl twice involved already no disrespect to him would that he were English, he's exactly the sort of player that England are currently missing. Bridges. Turned by Boya. Shot from cross. wanting to maintain away from home or it has suddenly been found at home it's going to be a difficult task here Smith left, Bridges right down the uh, centre Kuehl hugging the left touch line. Delivery from the back is disappointing, to put it mildly, for Leeds. Here's the builder. Should have a crack. And he's unlucky not to score. And twice running, Leeds have gone down the middle. And defenders have been conspicuous by their absence. Beautifully inside, and he'll be disappointed he didn't get this on target. He pulled it too much across the face. It's a good ball. This is De Builder. Really trying to find some space. Oh, what a good strike by De Builder. But not low enough for a dividend to be reaped. And maybe he should have used uh, Rudy, who'd made some good space to his right. of David O'Leary but his team is certainly by all accounts playing rather better than they did on Wednesday Hinchcliffe throw around the ball Sonner who made the forward run here's Yonk Atherton into space and the header was a good one and only just past the post by Sonner then more simple move in the lead style and that only just missed Rudy the builder Batty likes all these little angles David Batty played by 
Boyer when it seemed as though he was going to miss out. Smith, here's Boyer. Rudy made the challenge and Batty! Just a little bit short to tell the truth. I'll have to have a go, but he never looked like he'd score. Again, Booth comprehensively beating Woodgate in the air. The builder. Booth, unlucky. They have had the more clear-cut chances, Sheffield Wednesday. And they may live to regret not having taken any of them. Moody from Hinchcliffe. Yonk. Tom. It's a good challenge by Smith. Bridges. Smith to his right. Kill the other way. Bridges. And Sonic check. Finally, of course, to make a save. Not the most testing that he's ever faced. Got a slight deflection before it came to him. And the blank score sheet at half time. But it's Sheffield Wednesday who are more entitled to feel aggrieved that they're not ahead. Andy Booth and his partner up front, Gilles de Bilder, with chances. They've formed a, an interesting attacking partnership. Leeds have had more possession and promised quite often. Half time, it's Leeds United nil, Sheffield Wednesday nil. shows that Sheffield Wednesday have won three times in the last five seasons. And now overall, Leeds have had the better of the contest. 19 to 7 with 11 draws. Jacobelli staying down on the bench and his frown rather summing up the feelings of uh, his supporters and maybe even his team in the first half. Booth, the builder, Kelly, Kula Hill, Smith furthers forward just inside the box, Kula taking on three when he should have used the ball, he's never going to get a free kick. moments in this match when uh, the youth of this lead side has been all too obvious. That's a fine ball from one of the most experienced players, David Batty. Early ball in, Bridges didn't make it, and neither coming from the other side did Boya. But a really good cross this time from Harry Kuehl. But Bridges didn't get it right, Boya couldn't keep it down. Atherton and Tome after all this. Two had the chance, arguably were too close to each other. And Bridges couldn't keep it down. But there's a greater threat now in the opposition area from Leeds United. A couple of chances in quick succession. Kelly Bridges Kill 
Lovely strike. But again, a goalkeeper untested. Anderson and should have scored so should the builder but he didn't Sheffield Wednesday cannot believe that they haven't scored off the goalkeeper's legs and the builder couldn't get there and a combination of Woodgate and Gary Kelly managed to force the ball away here's Hinchcliffe a good cross oh that's a brilliant save and then the Villa can keep the ball down Nigel Martin makes an excellent stop like his opposite number he's had a pretty quiet afternoon but that really was a fine block that denied Booth here for Kuhl shoulder to shoulder that's well won by Alexanderson and well used to build up has to bring the arm a little bit when he makes the chest trap the builder very close to home ball on a number of occasions that's good play lovely ball by Rudy and Yonk held off by Mills good play again by Rudy Hinchcliffe this is good stuff once more. Rudy! Well, he orchestrated that. And there were at least three movements of it. And his was the final shot. But he was wide. That's well played by McPhail. Lovely left. Kelly. Mills Kuhl is on the far left of a posse of five in the area Mills struck it well it didn't come off but the half clear ball gave the chance to Mills and he wasn't too far away I'm sure that the centre track would have got across being just a yard or so further across. Balls full of ifs. Plenty forward here for Leeds. And Huckabee. It's loose and it must be in. And it is a mistake by Pavel Cernicek. Gives Alan Smith the opening goal of the match. Shake of the head by David O'Leary, who privately at least might concede that that's a little fortunate. Unnecessary spill and no chance to mop up. Huckabee with the shot, Smith with the cool finish. And Tom's efforts in the end in vain. 72nd minute of the match and Leeds United have a lead that they've struggled to find since the word go but they are fortunate to be in front an atmosphere now down on the road the Whites lead Kuehl and now threatened to enter that lead he's full of ambition the Australian it defies a little bit of logic. Huckabee, that's a good turn. He's done well, Huckabee. And it's got in eventually. And it's Smith again. Yeah, not a tidy goal. 
But David O'Leary won't be complaining. It was a lovely piece of play by Huckabee, though, that set up the opportunity. Rudy tried to get there, came back off the post to Smith, and it's 2-0 Leeds United. Oh yeah. Batty. It's had a good match, David Batty. Shows some good quality of passing. That's another one, surely. No, it's not. Fine. Spreading out ball again. Huckabee who played it in. Just not the final touch. Booth. Danny Mills. Huckabee in top. And Huckabee gets away. And Smith. And he's entitled to have a crack. He's on a hat trick. Quite a lot of curl on the shot, but not enough. swung away from his team goalkeepers can win and lose matches the save by Nigel Martin which denied Andy Booth in the uh, 65th minute through crucial a mistake by Pavel Cernicek which gave the first of two goals to Alan Smith also through crucial the goals coming in the 72nd and 78th minutes David O'Leary getting a second victory in a week when his team have not always been as good as he would have wished them to be and Sheffield Wednesday beaten by young Alan Smith will know that they had the chances to have won the contest not least Alex Anderson and the builder and that header by Food. final score Leeds United 2 Sheffield Wednesday 0